The U.S. House of Representatives is reviewing a bill that questions the country's relationship with South Africa. And the bill accuses South Africa of building ties with countries and actors that undermine America's national security. South Africa's foreign minister, Nelly Dipandor, is in Washington, D.C., to discuss the tense ties and spoke to Al Jazeera's Mike Hanna. There's almost an implication uh, that uh, when America holds a particular position, uh, South Africa must follow. And it's very interesting that other countries that share uh, the perspective that South Africa hold uh, are not being, uh, uh, you know, uh, dealt with in the way uh, that we are. So I don't know whether it's because we're Africans or uh, some other reason. It might be also the fact of the uh, stance we've taken uh, with response to the current uh, uh, war of Israel, uh, uh, which is being visited upon uh, the people of Palestine uh, most harshly and painfully, and the fact that uh, we've approached the International Court of Justice uh, may be causing uh, some uh, discomfort and uh, disquiet. We are an important uh, partner for the United States uh, of America, as they are uh, uh, for us. And so I do hope that uh, we will be able to repair uh, the relationship and uh, continue on the established uh, basis that we've built up over uh, many years. So you believe South Africa's decision to take Israel to the International Court of Justice is a primary reason for the tenseness of the relationship? Well, certainly uh, this is mentioned uh, in a number of resolutions. You may be aware there was a letter, a type of petition letter, by over 200 uh, uh, legislators across uh, the party line, so a bipartisan uh, a letter which uh, alleged uh, disquiet at the fact that uh, South Africa doesn't support uh, uh, Israel and uh, supports uh, Palestine. And then uh, going beyond that uh, to even as the bill does uh, claim that the African National Congress has some form of partnership with Hamas. This is entirely uh, untrue. It's also related to the non-aligned stance we've taken with respect to Russia and Ukraine, where South Africa continues to talk to both countries, to the leaders of both, to attempt to persuade uh, that they should agree to arrive at a point where they sit around a common table and begin to discuss what the negotiated uh, settlement may look like with full respect for all uh, the provisions of the United Nations uh, Charter. South Africa has strong relationships with Russia, with China. Couldn't this be of advantage to the United States in terms of forging links with these countries? Our underlying fundamental philosophy in foreign policy is we always seek peace. Uh, we always seek negotiation. Um, we are uh, mandated by the Freedom Charter of South Africa to always pursue international peace and friendship, and that is how uh, we've conducted them ourselves. Of course, uh, having been a people who suffered under the oppression of apartheid, we reject oppression wherever uh, uh, we find it and seek to reduce harm uh, for people who are striving for freedom. And thus uh, it is, I think, natural uh, that South Africa uh, would support the just cause of the people of Palestine, as well as, of course, support uh, the people of Israel uh, in having their own state. But we can never agree that it is correct to kill thousands of innocent uh, civilians uh, in Palestine and for us to then uh, attempt to pretend that there's some uh, just cause behind this murderous onslaught.